insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance, do they pay for the ablation process? These ablation procedures, uh, Medicare and Medicaid does pay very uh, um, universally for the treatments that I offer. Uh, private insurance tends to follow the, uh, the lead of Medicare, but not necessarily as quickly as we'd like. A lot of these treatments have good coverage under private insurance, and some are just evolving towards that. If I was to propose one of these procedures for you, I would certainly uh, make sure we had authorization through your insurance before doing anything. And once in a while, it requires me to make a phone call to speak with the insurance company's doctors, but we'll certainly never offer you a procedure that, that, that we believe is not going to be covered by your insurance. And by authorization, Glenn, means that um, we will check with your insurance company to make sure that uh, that you know in advance what they will pay for and what you may be personally responsible for. Yes, absolutely. But I think looking at our audience, a lot of the audience in the Rocky Mountain area, the Medicare and Medicaid, that really is yes. important for them absolutely to know huge. that it's covered. Right. And, and as, as Mark mentioned, uh, older individuals who maybe don't want surgery or are not candidates for surgery because of, because of health issues, they generally fall into the Medicare coverage and uh, that, that represents a large part of the people that I see who uh, have a pain issue that can't have a fix or don't want to fix. Your 93 year old grandmother may not want to go under the knife no matter how healthy they are. So, you know, th those kinds of uh, situations respond well to these um, uh, pain procedures that do not involve pain medications but can provide pain relief that can last 9 to 12 months and be repeated if it wears off. So, that's I think uh, I think a large part of the people, the population who benefit from these, have good coverage. Mm -hmm.